Sorry guys for being late. I was a couple of I need on classes. That's sorry. Yeah. Thanks for being late. I was a couple I need on classes. That's sorry. Hey. Yeah. Just hold on. Let me begin. Okay. How everyone is doing? I have fallen sick today. We were thinking to drop class today, but okay. घर से ही पढ़ाने में कोई दिक्कत नहीं है. One minute. Uh, okay. Just let me share my screen. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, uh, you guys join for the first time today's class. But everyone is a previous crowd only, right? So not able to get the classic console. That now issue, but uh, be able to get the classic console. So make sure uh, I'll tell you again uh, how you can log into your classic console. Just a quick recap of few minutes quickly. Once you log in, you will get this new UI. So in this this new, click on profile, click on profile section. Now it is no side. Go to classic and then save it. Okay, then save it. Next, what you have to do? Next, you have to do. Go to the admin. Go to the admin. Go to the account section and this URL. Copy URL and open and paste it in the tab. This is one way. This is one way. Now, many of you are not get. Many of you are not getting this. Uh, what do you say? Uh, many of you are not getting this options. Many of you are not getting the uh, account option. In case what you should be doing, you're not getting this account state uh, account options. So in that case, this is classic UI, right? So I'm pinging this UI. So what you have to do to change this your server name and your ID. Write it in blue. You have to change the server name and ID. Okay, with your server name, how you can do that? How do that? Go quickly. Ha. Here is. This. Can you see this? AP South India HD four two four one one. This you have to input in the reverse way. This you have to input in the reverse way is your console. Okay, say. Okay, so this you have to input in the reverse way. I'm getting a different account. You you have to do it. Ha, what you have to do? Ha, this South East Asia HD two four one one. Copy this. Copy this. The UI and then you have to paste it in reverse order. Reverse. This will come first. And this will go. Okay. Basically, from here you copy the thing. Share this document also, and then it should work. Okay. No, oh, I'm recopied it again. Yeah. You should copy that part, and then you hit enter, and it will work. It will log the classic console. Okay, this is uh, update with through which you can work in the classic console. Okay, separate video also. I'll 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 make it and soon release. Also. Now today, what's the agenda for today? Today we will be discussing your aggregate function. What aggregate functions? Aggregate functions basically your minimum, maximum, count, sum. Minimum of some quantity, maximum of certain quantity, minimum date, minimum date, all those things will here. Okay, all those things will see here. Okay, so let's check it. Out. Any query? If I have uploaded data in the agents, right? So let's do select star agent. Let's see. We have this agent, right? But okay, we have this mission. I was looking for any transactional data. Have. Let me check. Okay, commission we have no. I want to check. Suppose I want to check. Let me see whether this will work or not. No. Suppose I write select min. Min of what? Commission. Okay. 
of commission i'll type it. i want to see the maximum what was my maximum commission max this from where from agents will this work let's check it out yes so my minimum commission is 0.5 my maximum commission is 0 .5. like minimum salary maximum salary you can minimum salary maximum salary what is the minimum salary? What is the maximum salary that we can check? Right? That... Correct? Minimum salary and what is my maximum salary? Right? This will also work for the date. Any date in your data set. What is the minimum date? And what is the maximum date? Run this. Okay? You can run this. Got my point? You can run this also. Got it? Count already have told you. Count of all have told you. Right? And suppose you want sum of all the commission. How much total commission I have given? Sum commission, it will give you sum of all from agent. But what is the use case? In what case the analyst domain you'll be using this? I'll tell you. See you. Sorry, spelling I made done. C U W M I double S I O L. Sum of permission will give you 1.65, right? Now, in, this, in what scenario you will be covering this? In what scenario you will be covering this? Do you understand know KPI? You know the term KPI? Everyone understand KPI? KPI? Huh? What is KPI? KPI stand for what? KPI stand for what? And where do you use this? Which all company KPI? What is KPI? Who will tell me? What do you mean by the term KPI? Huh? What is KPI? Key performance indicator. Which all what performance indicator as for you? Say any data analyst company is there. Any data analyst company is there. And say for example, company runs uh, campaigns from time to time. Time to time. What will the KPI? And they want to see the revenue. Total profit. Total sale. How much is my revenue per customer? How much revenue per customer? How much is transaction per customer? Every customer on an average is doing transaction. How much? Right. So in all those cases, you're using your key KPI. Performance indicators. What are the key KPI? I'm showing straight away real use, real use case in all in one script. Check this. Let me go down straight. Then you'll be able to see. This window, let me minimize and then go down. Side view is not visible to me. That's the issue. I'm using the screen. So I have to go immediately down. Just the procedure. For it. Ha, this is your financial basically what final metrics you are delivering first count of sync send customer key suppose customer id you have you are taking distance this will give me the two customer this will give me the customer let me zoom a bit let me zoom a bit this will give me a total customer then transaction count count of transaction id every transaction will have an action id count of transaction id right ID should not be, I mean, you don't have to apply the distinct. By default, every transaction will have a transaction ID, even if it's a successful or it's like your Swiggy or your Zomato, which you do it. Sum of principle, sum of principle, total principle. How much money you are transferring? Money you are taking from the loan. How much is the total fee which bank is charging you? Then, sum of net foreign revenue, how much net foreign revenue you are generating? You are seeing the applications of all this min max aggregate. These are all called aggregation. Sum of revenue. How is total revenue? Now this PPC, TPC, RPC, RPT. These are KPI. What is PPC? Or principal per customer. Having loan to say, for example, one customer. How much is my average principal per customer? So total principal divided by total customer. Total principal divided by total customer is my PPC. What is my PC? Transaction per customer. How much average uh, customer is doing it? How much is my worth of a transaction? Suppose in a month, 
in a, I am seeing like one lakh transaction and thirty thousand customers. So one lakh divided by how much is my average transaction per customer? Then how much revenue I am generating from the per transaction? Of course, per, per people are transaction in the bank we do transaction one rupee two rupee. If you try to uh, transfer IMPS five rupees or two rupees it charge right. So per transaction basically how much is my revenue per transaction? So sum of revenue divided by count of transaction is revenue per transaction. Then what is my RPC? What is my revenue per? What is my revenue per customer? Revenue divided by total customer is my RPC revenue per customer. So this is a very very good use case. This is a very very good use case of your aggregation which is using in this. And from table name and then here where clause also you can specify if you date you want. Then here come. By make sure whenever you are using aggregate function, by you have to mandatory because it won't work because you are calculating aggregate based on certain columns. Columns you need to include it here. Either give column name. So here send country code. Here two denotes receive. Country. This is the best use case. Give the column name. No, if there are hundred, you will give hundred columns name. No, one two three. How does it work internally? This is one. This is two. This is four. This is five. So based on my send country code, receive country code, the channel through which transaction transacting, whether the customer is real customer, digital customer, whether customer is doing transaction through web or app, whether the customer is registered or not, I am to do by on all this month wise. We will take a separate class. Don't know. Entirely one day I'll dedicate on this date trunk and what are the uh, date uh, fields which you can do it in SQL okay. and on all these columns I want my aggregation to be done. So every country, send country, country, channel, fund scene, retail flag, web app flag and for all the month wise it will give me all these transaction and my KPI will be ready and then I will connect this, I will connect this table to my Power BI present to the stakeholders this dual business use case of and thing so this is how group by works so if you are using any of the aggregation function aggregation means sum minimum count and all those things then you go with the group by you will go with the by and you will go with this aggregation this is the first business use case which i'm guessing it to you okay let me a few things and i'll showcase it from this agents only we have select star from the agent. Tell me. Give, tell me the okay. On what basis we decide? Well, based on client requirements. Client requirements. Client requirement. Totally client. What client want? Client want TPC, RPC, HPC. Okay. Then based on that. But basically, client requirement we decide. Yeah. Now star from agent. Now I am a client. A client. I want, I want the list of how will say me. I want uh, in this case, I'll tell you agent name is is there com, uh, commission countries? It's much only data you have. Uh, in this case, it should not work. Let's have some real data. I have one table. No, I have one table. By the way, I've given you task. Did you load the table in the uh, and did you face any error? Is a consumer complaint preview data? I have this data. Okay, talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's open the new tab. This will be much better. AJ consumer computer. Okay. Let's run this. Uh -huh. Say for example. Uh -huh. so let's see. This. Let's try to analyze this. Okay. <laughs> huh. So you have date receipt. Every date from 2013. Uh, I don't know. What is my minimum and maximum date? Let's check. Let's see whether minimum maximum works here. That's the agenda for today's class. So let's see. Min and just whatever the column is there, copy paste it here. Max from from again. I told you the best case. There, so I'll copy from there. Always start with the use database command, and then you can. Ah, it is giving so minimum maximum on date also. Minimum work on the date also. Sir, so didn't get the st what staging part. No, no, not in the new. Sorry, in the old. Uh, this is the classic console I'm discussing. 
in the classic console you'll be able to update staging part i'll talk about staging part i'll talk about ha huh. so minimum date is my 2014 first january 2014 what is my maximum date 31 12 2014 this something called alias whenever you are using whenever you are using this <coughs> aggregation always rename it always rename it else in the call it will come as count of transaction id i can count of transaction id can you see it how it is appearing min of record date time and one like this i want to give certain to this column so i'll use an alias as i will use an alias called as minimum date okay any name you can okay any min min name you can give as minimum date, and then i'll give as max always use alias it's a good practice maximum rate now if i run it see what happen ah, eh, what happen oh from my miss sorry yeah now see now minimum rate maximum rate so whenever you are sent report to the client so it becomes really easy right so whenever you are using any of this any function use give the alias give the okay sub query when i'll teach you query at that time full use of alias will come the use of alias will come into picture so alias is only for the understanding it is only you are renaming it just for the purpose not in the original column not in the original i am not renaming it in the original but for the select purpose for view for the visualization i am doing it okay. for the visualization i am doing it minimum of date so min and max is very easy to understand any data you have you will do it now this data set tell me make the client says for all the product for all the product for all the product the product i need i need uh many complaints has been registered all the product for all the uh, for every company and for company banking products how many complaints have registered what query you will write what query you will write tell me need need the count <clears throat> need the count of complaints received by received by all the all the what companies all the companies across all the across all the companies and across all the uh, will take product how many how many complaints i have received in each in each product Each product for all the companies, all the companies. What I'll do? Huh? What is the query? First, in the chat, what I'll use? I will use it. How I'll use it? Huh? What should I write? What should I write? Tell. <laughs> what should I write it? Okay. Others. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm checking. Also, if people have joined, just one minute. Yeah. Others, Parish Tren. So I need the count of complaint. So select. I will use distinct. You may not use this no? because I want the distinct complaint. Count of distinct complaint. id what is the column name plain id plain id okay but this should go at the last this should be the last before that what should i need based on for every company and for every company, right that's what i said for every company where is the company for every company and for every category i need the complaint product so i'll write this one comma pre and then product name product name okay company and then product name you go it's done count but if i run see what error i'll get ah uh, valid company because you have not group by you have not given group by whenever aggregate is there you have to give group by alias also as total company give meaning full name guys as full complaint okay Company name, product, as total complaint. Uh, who will give from table name? 
from table name again i will get error why group by i have not yes is not a valid group by expression you should always learn from your error it is not valid group by expression let me minimize the screen it is not a valid group by expression right of course it will say you have not used group by then what should you use group by either you can do like this or either you can do like this but it is not recommended you should use both code or instead of this company and protein best business practice that's why we are here one comma two very simple because have if you have 30 column will you write the name you have that much of time copy paste no 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and then execute it it will give you list of all that wells fargo and company wells fargo and company loan is 175 bank account and services is 65 then sent is but this is not it i want in alphabetical order i got it also group by one comma then you come order by there is something called order by there is something called order order by what i want order by one comma i want oh my god one second i want order one comma two by default by gives in ascending order by default order by gives in ascending order let's check this. Y N has come first. Y N first. Why doing like this? Why it has come like one 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 twenty two twenty two? I have a big huge count. Now where is that? I can't see. Okay, it has started. A first B B B B B. Then C. Then then E. Then F G H I J K, got it. You can give both, or you can give only one. Order, that's it. This will also work, right? Order by doesn't have to be both column, you or you may not. I only want order by by the. First. I want only order by by the company, and only order by by the company. I don't mind the by the product. Okay, I don't want by order by by the product. Let us go with the company. Got it? Ha. Huh. But best case, I'll say use both. If the company's client want both, then use both. Suppose I want my company product name to be in descending order, so I write what DSC. So what it will do, DSC? What it will do? It will give me in descending order product name. Company is ascending. Company is ascending, and then product name is in descending. M will come first, then D, then C, like that. For that particular company, only once that company gets over, then it switches to the next company. First fidelity loan servicing. First fidelity loan servicing. First thing order you have given product name. So mortgage will come A B C D E F G H. Then D B will come. Then debt will come first. Then consumer loan will come first. Now it will go to the other company. Twenty first. Then for that again in descending. Then for the other company again in descending. Right. Now listen, my very carefully. I don't want my. I want only interested. Post complaint which is exceeding beyond hundred, which is exceeding beyond hundred. So what you will do? A very famous clause having interview question. What is the difference between where and having? Understand very very carefully. Where is the filter for select statement? Whatever out clause you want, where is the condition select? Having is the condition for having is the condition for aggregate function. Having is the condition on aggregation, so I don't want. I want a complaint which is more than or equal to it. I am interested in that. I am interested in that. Sorry, I am interested in that. Okay, I'll do like this. Let's see this. Yes, so it will give me only which is more than hundred. I want uh, in descending order written. Yes. Okay. So give third as descending. Let's try what it will give me. <laughs> company product name student loan total company warranty one forty six two not six or say order by I don't want this. I want order by complaint in descending orders. Order by descending. Order by three descending. Bingo is what I am interested in. Always the complaint should come first. Always the top complaint should come first. So 
such complaint has been reported by a company called Experience, and the product name in the credit report. Okay, then goes to the Equifax, then goes to the Bank of America in the mortgage section. This is how you do it by and having understand the chronology statement. How internally SQL works. So always your code start from the condition where I have not given here. Where I have given here. So it will start from where. Go to the from. Then it will go to the from which table you are picking it up. Right. What are the columns you are picking it up? These three. Then I am grouping it. After group by should come. If you put having, you will get syntax. If you put having at the end, you will get syntax. Just see this. You'll get syntax error. Got it? Unexpected having because your alignment is proper. So after group by, it should come having. Let's give where clause also. Okay. Let me give where clause also. Let me check one. To limit thousand. So this is the use case of your UI and aggregation. One second. I'll also talk about something. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, I state name. So where state name is equal to, say for example, or, 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 uh, uh, submitted via, okay? Filter condition. I want the complaint submitted via phone. For, uh, uh, submitted via, so I'll write where clause here, right? Where condition, where condition is equals to phone L. Okay, now this will clear. Is the capital? Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes, let's run. What happened? Oh. Let's run this. Now it is clear, right? So for the complaint by the company, different product who have registered complaint through phone. Who have registered complaint through phone. Okay? Yes. From where group by having order by. Every, I have covered in detail here how you will be writing it. Okay? First, I am selecting the company. I understand the business problem. What the business is trying to say. Choose that. Term. And what are the aggregation function total and then from the table, whichever table you want, where condition you give it, group by two, group by one and two. And then what columns you have to take, yeah, that you have to group by. You can't group by one. It won't work. No, it won't work. It won't work. No error it will give you. Always keep your aggregation at the last. See it here. The use case which I have shown you. How many I have taken? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I think ten. Nine have taken. So at the end, you keep it. Always keep it. Getting my point? Huh. Okay. So how does it work internally? Internally, how does it work? All, always it picks up the this one. It picks up the where clause. Always your program starts where clause. Okay. First which table. First which table. On which table? What is the condition first of all? Go through that. This is the condition. Then which all are picking it up? And what is the aggregate function using it? Group by. And what is my condition on my aggregate function? What is my condition on aggregate? Hot favorite question for all the freshers will be applying for your data analyst interview. First question. Still they ask me. Still they ask me. What is the difference between group? By, sorry. What is the difference between where? Being? So where is a filter condition select statement? Whatever the state selecting. On that, if you want to apply any filter, go for the where. Group, uh, you will use only when you have an aggregate function. When you have an aggregate function. Can I use group without an aggregate function also? Will it work? Can I use group by without aggregate function also? Will it work? Say, let's try, let's try. Let's try. What I'm trying to say is, I'm commenting it. One comma two, I'm doing it. Okay. Removing this also. I'm removing this also. I'm removing this also. So we will work. Let's try this. Will this work? It worked. Yes. Why? Why it worked? Group by it worked. But does it 
sense anything to do the group by here where if i don't do group by will my output change will my output change output didn't change at all okay output didn't change at all so it doesn't make sense so group by only we use in aggregate function right is based on clubs which we are aggregating so understand is very carefully this will be working alone in the case also i have shown you any financial when you will be sharing with the client you will be working this function okay ha correct sir yeah yeah what happened sorry semicolon okay having also works with the aggregate function yes it also works with the aggregate function having without aggregate function my voice is cracking in between why now now <coughs> okay Vite, man, it's echoing a lot. Hello, Anand. Good evening. Guy, new one. Okay, no worries. Okay. Now, now, Nitesh, it is, it is, now it is gone. It's gone now. Okay. Next. Uh, where is my consumer? And what is the business use case of this? Let's check it quickly. Any business case? Sir, RPC. Yes. Business case. Let's talk about the next business use case. Our customer segmentation, the customer bucket, right? Say for example, CFC has come up with a thing. I want to or bucket all my customer into different segments. What on basis of what? On basis of number of transaction, basis of the amount which they are holding in the. You have to ask this question. When you go for the segmentation, on what basis you want to take customer? So right, there are two things. based on the money value which they are having to transaction here i am segmenting customer based on their transaction if a custom if a customer has done if a customer has done a transaction one then i am calling that customer as 1x if a customer has uh, uh, done transaction anywhere but, but less than 6 i am calling them between 2x and 5x. if a customer has done any transaction greater than 6 and less than 10 then i am calling them 6x to 9x If I'm uh, uh, customer has done any transaction more than ten, I call it ten x plus. So this a uh, use case of your aggregate function, also your case statement. I thought case statement I'll take in a different class. But this class only I'll be teaching you case statement. When you will go with the case statement, when you want tag each row of the customer, each row will fall into certain categories on the transaction based on transaction. Then your column name will come as transaction bucket. Then your column name will come as transaction bucket. And how I am grouping it? I am by one on every customer. Every customer I am calculating their transaction and I am checking case statement. What syntax? Case when transaction count is one, then one x. Okay. Whenever transaction count is one, you will see a column called transaction bucket is getting created, and that one will be marked, and that one x will be marked. case statement you will be using when you have a very different different category category when you have a condition is basically for the tag i want to tag customer whether they fall in group whether they fall in 2x group or whether they fall in 6x or 2x group right that call case statement your entire data is journey whether you work for 2 years you will write on every day basis press number of case statement see my query See, see the how many case statement in the last two year. Not only this, many entire every day will start with the case statement. So many case will be writing. I'll explain you again. Okay, suppose, suppose a customer is transacting through a customer is transacting through a uh, different channel, retail and digital. Retail. And, I know if a customer do transaction through. And I, I tag I tag them as digital. And if a customer do any other transaction through POS or app initiated request or any other way which your client satisfies, then we go with the again. Okay, then else others this as a channel type. 
So this case state for every customer, if he is doing, he falls in the retail segment or whether he falls in the digital segment, right? And then panel type. This is the way client will say you need a bucket. This is not based on evolution. This client will say, I need one call called channel type based on channel segmentation. That's why when you see, when I go down, you will see this. Retail digital flag I have taken. Where is the bucket? Where is it? Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Yes, case. Yes. You know, retail digital flag because client have. I want to see how many are my retail customers, how many are digital customers. So each row segment them into retail or digital. Or class also from this. Okay, I'll start also from this. Now, do transaction via SMS, right? I can do transaction via web. I can do transaction via app. Okay, so there are segmentation. There are again three segmentation, right? See, tag any transaction as domestic versus international. Very simple. If you send and receive country is same. If you send and receive country is same, then it's a domestic. If your send country is not equal to country, then it is called international. This is the not equal to. This is the not equal to. Two angle bracket. Okay. Then we say it is a domestic international transaction. Domestic or international. Very, very simple. Like an if, if, else. Don't take people, those who have joined. It's like a condition I'm placing it. If I'm transferring money to the same country, how you will come to know? You will come to know whether it's the same country or not. Your send country and receive country will have the same code. Is India send country is also India? Then it's a domestic. If send country is India, receive country then it is international. Then it is international. Getting my point? So this is very important. Entire data analyst journey, you are writing thousands and thousands of cases, right? Thousands and thousands of cases. Okay. And then you count on the transaction. But again, I'll take in a separate class just for the I gave you. Let's see where is the next uh, agreement which I have written here. So that here I have written, I think. Statement, I'll take a different class altogether. Okay, so don't worry. How many case statement is there? How many case statements? So forget that. No. Let's talk about a few basic functions. So aggregate function is clear. Let's see what else question we can apply here. Okay, what else we have? Data saved. Product name can zip agree company. Zip code. Uh, tags. Okay. Ah, now, what I want. I want I count of complaint received in each for all the companies in just. State in just three state. What are where is the state? State name. Let's choose state name as V A C A N Y. V A C A N N Y. V A C A N N Y. V A C A N N Y. Then what you'll use? Then in that case, then in that case best is in the in state in 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 keyword in word in keyword. Again, I'm using the in keyword. Where you'll use in case again that data analytics generally will revolve around it. In means in clause basically means suppose you have uh, certain countries or categories I'm giving you. So you're checking among those. You are checking among those. For example, whether the person is vegetarian, vegetarian, or non-vegetarian. Three I have given you. So how you will check? You will have in condition. Okay, condition. But where you'll write this in condition? This in clause where you'll use in where submitted via phone and 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 country code where is that state name and state state name in I want these three countries sorry what's for that this state V A V A uh, then, 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 where is it? CA <laughs> and then your NY for New York. Make sure you write in single quotes. Then it will give me. Let's run this. Getting my point. So, for all these three countries, you will get. So, you specify in condition directly in the where. Why? What happened? Oh, there's no complaint. Oh, remove the house. 
there's no complaint beyond 100 complaint beyond 100 it means ha ah, they complaint beyond 100 okay that's right for these three countries you will get this suppose you want the state name to be here state name to be here state name let's keep it state name also here we'll do group by 1 2 three and then this will be on four because count is your four but this is two this is now this is four so order by four descending sending or yes so for all the state the number of complaint this is the best of in i am again showing you from the business collection of more than one thing let's talk business perspective until and unless we see what the perspective it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense if you don't see the business perspective right suppose your client is working in 160 plus countries and you have what it wait yeah it's game back suppose your client operates in some 160 plus countries and you need the business report for few countries then in that case you will go with the in command the seeds best use of in command again pricing channel suppose you are transacting through web and app then again you will use pricing channel you are seeing how i am relating case statement in group by everything then at the end your complete query will come into picture right slowly slowly that's why i try to digest this okay ha in statement then next you see in statement use uh, uh in statement next i'll show you ah yes country code a this is the best use case if you have 20 countries and client said i need report for australia new zealand singapore malaysia hong kong philippines thailand bangladesh uh, japan uh, kazakhstan and uh, finland or whatever the code word then in that case you will use it in in clause in clause will be used only in where in clause only you will specify in where nowhere else getting my point so basic basic query not a single query i'll leave and with through which the, you will face any issue in your data analytics journey everything will be discussed from business point of view right not unlike the traditional sql approach then other the best use case of in let's talk about other whether it's there or not uh let's see if it is there yes in this i have told you in 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 anything else is in is there no that's the best understood in in class understood in class understood some understood group by understood having everyone or anyone has having any of the doubt this is clear right okay now uh, okay consumer disputed okay tomorrow i'll start with the case statement okay tomorrow i'll start with the case statement complaint id what else extra information can we get from this uh date received ah uh, date received is wait uh ha uh, okay date function i want to take differently but there is something i can do it here wait i'll teach you one thing uh, 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 uh let me talk about just very important function which is date trunk just one date command although date i'll take a different case but just one date command because i am teaching you group by that's why uh, wait wait where is that went uh, date trunk command let's learn just one command okay control v so date trunk what it will it will truncate you can get month year and everything i have this date received no so i'll input this date received and i'm tracking that transaction month okay i'm tracking as transaction month okay it will give me the month okay so let me see control x if i put it here as transaction month so for every transaction 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 Let me see what this will give me. Or we'll throw at an error. Let's try. Where is my run command? I can't see my run command. Where is it? Ha. Huh. 
Where is the run? Where the run got hidden? I can't see where is my run. <laughs> no, no, I have to zoom out, I guess. Yes. Uh, yeah, now it is. Clear? That's fine. Sharon? Huh. Now listen to this. Uh, what is this? Function date trunk does not support where can. Oh, 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 it's not a date type. I have to change to this date type. So leave it. I don't want to talk about this date trunk then today. Leave it. Because it's entirely different uh, class on that. Actually, it's a where care type. You should understand your data type very, very carefully. You should understand your data type very, very carefully. This date I have taken as a string. I'm not taking as a date. So I cannot apply any date function on that. So leave it. Not required as of now. In the date function class, I will be talking about that. Now let me check what is there in other in group by. Anything else is there? Tomorrow we'll do the one case study. Okay. State name one, two, three. Sorry, comma I have taken. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Clear this much? Our data type is very care for date. That's why. Data type is very care for date. Uh, let me see anything else is there. Oh, product name mortgage. What else we can have and do the analysis from this data set? Consumer complaint, consumer state name, tax, consumer name, timely response, yes and no. Okay, if complaint ID is given, okay. Closed, closed. <laughs> and that's all in this, I guess. Anything else? Let me check the new data set which I have. STR to date later on, later on. That's what I'll talk about in date only. That I don't want to discuss in today. Uh, let me see. Any sample data is there? TSF, HTA, generated, customer, customer items. Let's check it. What is there in the item? Preview data. Okay, item ID. Huh. Ah, yes. This one we can try. I want to tell you one very important thing is select star from which is table place name in SQL limit thousand. Okay, limit thousand. Now there's a very beautiful uh, uh, clause in SQL. It's called like state, like 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 clause. Now where you will be using this? Suppose you know your company it always launch campaign whose starting letter is AA. Okay. Whose starting letter is AA. If we take ID column as a varka rather than in ID column as rather than an intent, then is there an issue? No, but there is there will be an issue, but then you have to typecast it to separately. You have to typecast it to again, you have to change it to the date. If it is an ID column, ID column, if you are taking it to Varcare and if you are doing any numeric calculation on that, you have to change it accordingly. There's no harm. You can take it. Say, I will write one query. Just try to understand this. Where item ID like like what I'll say like <laughs> Say, I'll say all item ID is starting with AA. Say, everything is starting with AA. Wait, any new item ID is there which start with B? Oh, everything is starting with AA. Okay. Say, let's pick E and F. Okay. Let's pick E and F. One thing. Uh, one by one, I'll explain you. What does this mean? Let me write first and then I'll explain you. Huh. Let's see this. Listen carefully. Now. You know your entire campaign when if any you run any campaign like uh, suppose campaign name is like a hundred character and you, you know your country code is somewhere. You know that your country code is somewhere. So you can't scan the hundred character like somewhere it will be US, somewhere will be India at some place. I know my country code is hidden, hidden in the item ID. My country code is hidden with the item ID somewhere. I know the letter E and F. So EF is somewhere. It may be at the start. It may be at the beginning or it may be at the end. So what do you do? You use like statement then. What does this percentage sign at both start and end mean? It can be anywhere. It can be anywhere. It can be anywhere. So if I run this, see where it is. It is there in the between. It is there in between. It is here. It is here. 
check again ef after this any character doesn't matter after this and before this any number of character doesn't matter any number of characters it can be either after or either before doesn't matter okay doesn't matter after this before this right anywhere anywhere you know your india is present in is present here you will use percentage percentage before and after let's run this query again let's run this query again now what it will do what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this zero rows what is the meaning of this this means give me the data for all the uh, for all the item who which starts with e and f and ends with any character and ends with any character so there is no campaign or there is no item id which start with ef which start with ef then let's talk about next let's talk about next what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this again zero rows give me the list of all the item which has an ending ef which has an ending ef followed by any number of characters before followed by any number of characters before any number of characters characters before ef before ef before ending with ef i'll say before ending with ef this means all items with ef in the beginning followed by any number of characters any number of characters always write the comment with your query what does this mean anywhere ef is present ef is present okay got my point yes now i can write can what is this will underscore work let's see underscore works or not no what is the meaning of underscore anyone knows what is the meaning of underscore here what is the meaning of underscore here huh? one character yes one character so underscore here means one character two underscore means two character two underscore means two character let's run no three character sorry no so i'll do what uh, wait let me try this no again let's take three character no let's take four oh god let's take four and see again no character oh so there is no item but i saw somewhere nothing it is giving so use your like wisely these are like wild card yes these are kind of like wild cards okay now what is the best business use case of this what is the business use case of this let's understand six are there 1 2 3 4 5 6. no i was trying to see wait let me check item id how many are there 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight, no 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight only. Let's try with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Will this give me? Yeah, this is giving me. What does this mean? Before EF, I will have one, two, three, four, five, eight characters. Eight characters. Before EF, I want my eight characters. Okay. Then in that case, we'll take this. right ef followed by this one eight characters right exact one exact one i am giving eight characters before ef so there are how many rows there are this row so many there are so many before ef eight characters are so many see this what it select video from youtube where video name like analytics with yes analytics with percentage yes ha huh. now let's understand the business use case Let's understand the business use case one by one. Uh, in statement, I have told you a company can run campaigns. 
campaign ID will be given for four campaigns. You want to analyze the metrics. So in statement in class, you will widely use and it's very easy to understand also. Go there. See so many in, 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 in class again here. I've used in class. Yes. If payment method is through bank account, through mobile or credit card or debit card, then I'm tracking as a, then I'm counting it as a non-cash paying account. And if it is like payment method is like cash, then I'm treating it as a cash payment. This is a uh, uh, where clause, uh, sorry, uh, case statement. I'll discuss this separately in tomorrow's class. I don't want to jump into this today. You'll get confused how I'm using aggregate function here. Where class I'll teach tomorrow, then I'll discuss that. Uh, top three, top four, everything I have to discuss with you. Wait, what I wanted to show you is where it went. Where it went, where it went. Ah, here, see this. I know when my activity code start with S, then that is called a test customer. When my activity code start with G, then it is called global holdout customer. There's certain tagline which I have given. When my activity code start with C followed by any character, then I'm calling it as a campaign holdout, right? These are certain segmentation, which I'm bifurcating it. So like statement also you will be using now and then if the company is running many campaigns from time to time. I'll give you assignment on this. Yes, I'll give the assignment on this, which you can master, right? Huh. I'll give you the assignment on this, which you can master. Okay, then anything else is there? Let me check. No, 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 no. Yes. So these are the like, like categories which you'll use, like statement, group by. I'll give you the assignment. Don't worry. In many a times you'll be using it. Okay. Yeah. Anything else is there? <laughs> Let me see what is there was there in the agent. I am not able to see this. Uh -huh. I have to minimize my screen. Agent, we have very less data. Oh, actually, okay. Ah, okay. Tell me, uh, like statement. Ha, huh. I need the uh, yes, best use of like phone number, like in Bangalore, phone number pin code is 080. I need the list of all the customer whose phone number starts with 044. Quickly tell me the code. Quickly tell me the code. What should I write? Select star from agent, select star from agent, select star from agent where. Where, where phone number, phone number. No, I need a count. I need a count. Select count star. Select count star. Count star. That count and then you put it star. Star means it will count everything. And I'll take the phone number also. Not phone number for every, uh, what do you say? Working area, I'll say. For working area, not working area, country is given, wait, country is not there. Okay. Let, then let's do select count star only. Okay. Select count star from agents. Also the phone number. Select count star from agent where phone number like, like what? What should you write? Like <coughs> zero 07, it's starting with 044. I want it starting with 044. I would say 077 followed by any character doesn't matter. What should I write? <laughs> no, no, not phone number, not none. No, no, no. I want 077. I want 077 phone number starting with 077. Phone number starting with 077. Ah, uh, like zero. 77 seven and percentage at the end. It doesn't matter for me what is the percentage. So there are only three phone numbers. And if I don't need count, let's let's have the details. Let's have the details. Select star. So these are the three. These are the three. How many agent I want? Okay. Select count. Select count of say for example. Uh, agent code. So it will give me same thing. Okay, so understood how and all phone number you can use it right in that case. Like three, three are there. Then 
case. What is the best again use case of? Tomorrow when I will teach you a you know, case statement, then things will become really clear. Because case statement, you will be working a lot and we'll cover a lot tomorrow. Okay, so this is the... <clears throat> now removing this like. Let me see how much data we have in this. What else I can have it? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. 078. Okay. Ending with also you can find ending with ending with 88 percent. Well, what do you write? 88. 88 and then percentage followed by 88. Right? That also you'll get it. 077 percentage. Okay. Then I have pets demo. Place name is equal. Select star. Select star from database. Wait, let's remove this. Let's see what is this data. Ah, okay. Oh, this one though I have downloaded it. This is where demo database tables. What is this table called? Customer data. Oh, so many customer data. These are all dummy data. Salutation started with Dr. Sir, Croatia, class review, customer. No, nothing is there in this. Customer demographic, what is there in this? Such a huge data set, primary, male, female. No, nothing is there in this also. I haven't loaded any table, dummy database. No, 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 tables. <laughs> line item let's see what is there in this 153 gb data oh my god yes percentage it is correct oh order key supplier quantity linear discount tax return flag okay comment ah uh, comment start with here we can see like statement also use wait Uh, why it is coming? I can expand. No? I want to see how big is the comment. This much only. What is this? Express delivery truck ship shipment mode. Select. Let me see what the comments here. Select distinct. Distinct keyword also I have told you. Day in and out he'll use select distinct. I'll comment from. What's the table line item place name in SQL and then let me run this for the distinct lel comment. <laughs> so, comment starting with happy, like in the uh, Flipkart and Amazon, we see how many are the happy customers. So, what it will do select percentage happy percentage, right? I want the list of all the uh, uh, users who have purchased a recent iPhone for, for 14 and uh, they're not happy, they're not happy. So, I will write review text or the comment. Percentage, not happy percentage. Anywhere not happy should be there. Okay. Or anywhere happy should be there. Uh, okay. I'm in the small warehouse. I think that's why it is taking. Oh, it's see, It's a 153 GB. And if I run in the small warehouse, how much time it is taking? So let's resize this to medium. And then let them learn, run this. A bot. Run. Let's see in medium how much time it takes. 3.1 second, 153 GB. Uh, so this is the real data set. Even you will be getting this much. It's still in medium, it is taking so much of time. Let me run in the large. Resize large. A bot. Then run. Okay, comments are very huge. Oh, it will give me all the 153 rows. Leave it, leave it. And this, uh, this is unnecessary. Uh, Bad way to write. Rather than we should be having count. Let's see count. How much is the distinct comment? Distinct. This is much better. Because query, unnecessary warehouse scaling we are giving, you know. Because there will be 153 rows. See, count also will take so much of time. Because you have how many rows? 59999989709. That's why it will take time. Even for the count. <laughs> round and round. 
077, correct. See, that's the that's why you should scale your warehouse accordingly. If I write my query, just count is taking this much of time. Imagine if you are operating for 160 plus country for 30 countries, and if you are running a report, how much time it will go? A limit I can use, limit I can use, but I don't want to use the limit. Limit, of course, I can use. So basically, let's abort it rather than wasting time. That's why you should never run this. You should have a limit here. I wanted to see the count basically. Limit only use when you want to get a feel of the data. Okay. Then, even it is extra a large warehouse, also, it's taking so much of time. Really surprising. Ah, now it came. Okay. So, tax is there, shipment date, carefully, dolphin. Let's check carefully. Okay. Carefully word. Where L underscore comment like like takes a time. Computational power it increases. Okay. There's too much load on the server because like it will pattern match. It will match the pattern. That's why very, very carefully use this like. If I run in my extra large warehouse, see, now I'm showcasing you 159.3 GB. This much arose you have. How much do we have? 5 billion. Unit 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million. 5 billion records you have. 5 billion records you have. And you are searching the word carefully in that. Let's see in the large warehouse how much time does it take. Okay, let's see. 3 second, 6 second. Nine second, twelve second. I think it will take a minute, or beyond that also it can take. Open history. You can always see here. You open the history and you hover it. It will show you number of bytes scanned. See, ah, my hands are up. This is the way. I didn't tell you this thing. Okay, I didn't tell you this thing. Open history and you can always sit back and relax and have coffee. Like I know 33% got completed quickly. I can grab a tea. I can have a tea. I know it will take time one minute. So you have always, you have to keep an eye on this. How much time does it take? Right. So look 18.20 GB remote. It is 51 GB. How much byte it has scanned? 171 billion. See the scanned partition. How much partition it has been created? I told you, no, I told you in my class of snowflake architecture. Do you remember how many number of partition files it create? See snowflake is how smart enough. 5,600, oh no, again, partition got increased. There will be millions of partitions, millions of partition internally. Original partition, original partitions is how much? 10,336. Still 65%, guys. Still 65%. I am looking for all the records which have comment like carefully. I want to see. Count star, I didn't do. I didn't do the run. On a large warehouse, still it's taking one minute. More than one minute. Imagine what would have happened for the small and uh, large. So, you, ah, now it got. So, how much time does it take? One minute, 34 seconds. One minute, 34 seconds. Now, I have the data here ready. That's the beauty of learning SQL on cloud. You see in the real case scenario, rather than waiting for the IT company to join, you see directly here. What are the best practices? How to rescale my warehouse and all. So, these are which have the word carefully into this. Okay. How much rows it has shown me? 578-900-104. Okay. And you can have also the month wise and day wise. Shipment mode wise. Okay. Suppose shipment mode, I want the care like this. Select. L shipment mode, comma, count. Count of what I'll take. Count of take, I'll order key. Count of, I'll take distinct order key. Distinct, distinct L order key as total orders. Total orders. Okay. From where comment like carefully. I want to understand in very simple mode who has given carefully. Fragile, when you go in the airport, when you carry your TV or anything, you write the word fragile over there, right? Fragile word, right? So in that case. So I will come to know which are my order, which are this. Now let's run this. 
Oh, group by I have not given. It will throw me an error because group by is not given. Group by one, sorry. Group by one, order by one. Shipment mode, okay. Let's hit this and then see. Again, open history. Just keep an arrow over here. And sit back and relax. Oh, sorry. Byte scan 4.2 GB. Still it is scanning. Every query will have an ID. Every query will have an ID. So when you are running some 10,000 query, you can see which query got passed, which query got failed. There will be a tick sign. There will be a tick sign. There will be a tick sign. Okay. Ah, done. Bingo. Wow. I have the data ready. I have the data ready. Yes. Oh, my, my air has 804. How much it is? 8 million. 8 million total orders which have the word carefully in it. FOB has 8 million, 888. So at an average, 8 million in all. I can say, so carefully is 8 million out of this much of records. Out of 5 billion records, 8 million record has the word carefully in it. That's how the business case like and everything works. Okay. That's all for today. Just your assignment will be explore this dummy data set. Go to TPCHSF1000. This is a nice one. And explore line item. Everything. You can go to the orders also. And you can have the preview data. Make sure you go this year. TPCHSF1000. Note it somewhere. TPCHSF1000. Under your Snowflake sample data. And explore this all table. Explore this all table. See the data. Write like query. Write group by. Write having. And then see how it is. Okay. Tomorrow, we'll discuss the case statement. And how things are done in the case statement. Use case, business use case. Complete business use case of case statement. Okay. Ah, actually done. That's it. Actually done. Clear? Staging, I have not taught you guys. Staging, I'll uh, teach you. What is the concept of staging? What does staging mean exactly in the Snowflake? Because this is not, this class is not entirely on Snowflake. This class is of Snowflake also and SQL also. So both parallelly, we are running it. Okay. That's it for today. Bye-bye. Take care. TPCH SF1000. Yes, explore this. TPCH SF1000. Yes. Okay, then. Tomorrow, we'll discuss all the case statement. All the case statement, enormous amount of case statement we'll be discussing. Okay? So, don't worry. How many case statements I have written in my career? I'll show you how you can write this. Because until unless you see this much big line of code, then only you will understand. I'll tell you the meaning of and, on, everything. We'll do it. We'll do it on the data set and we'll see. What is the marketability status? Case statement we'll discuss tomorrow. So don't miss tomorrow's class. There's so many things yet to do in Snowflake. It will take time. I think entire Snowflake will take me two months at least to finish. And after this, trust me guys, after my covering SQL and Snowflake classes, you will be able to answer 100% of the question in the IT company. That's the challenge I'm accepting or I'm throwing it on you. Today, I'll tell you, today I gave one interview. Chal, I'll ask you, you know, I'm having seven plus years of experience. What was the first question asked to me? What is the difference between, who can tell me? What is the difference between where, data warehouse and database? Answer is there in front of your screen. What is the difference between, before we wrap up the class, answer this question. Hint I'm giving you. What is the difference between data warehouse and database? Who will answer this? All those who are watching me live or on LinkedIn or on YouTube or later on who will be watching this video, comment in the section. What is the difference between database and uh, data warehouse? Why do we need data warehouse first of all? Why do we need data warehouse first of all? No, that is fine. But why do you need a folder? No, 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 no. Guys, why, 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 why I have started uh, teaching you Snowflake? What is the reason behind? What is the beauty of Snowflake? I'm giving you a hint. What is the beauty of Snowflake? What did I just now do? No, no. What did I just now do? What I have done just now, just few minutes back. What was happening with my query? It was taking so much of time, right? It was taking so much of time, right? What did I do then? No, no, no. no. You're not answering my question. You're deviating from that. What is the difference between warehouse and uh, database? Already have circled it. Already have circled it. Focus on the screen. No one is able to answer this question. For what sake I am using the small, medium, large? So your warehouse, you can scale it. 
Yes, number of processing computation. Yes, this is the right word. Ashish has answered. Computation. If you don't have the warehouse, you cannot do computation. You cannot increase the computation power. It's same like 8 GB RAM, 4 GB RAM, and 32 GB RAM. Right? Why 16 GB RAM works faster? Why not 8 GB works faster? Because you are increasing the number of cores, number of CPUs. Right? That's why I'm teaching you the snowflake. Answer is here, small, medium, large. Immediately I answered it. Right? Because your warehouse gives you the capability of scaling, which you cannot do it in the database. Right? Number of cores, processing power, computation increases when you have a big warehouse. If I have a big football field, I can accommodate more audience. If I have a less football field, I can accommodate less audience. So answer in this way. Don't answer like it's a file or folder. Definitely to all those who will be appearing for the first interview in the data analyst, this will be your first question. What is the difference between data warehouse and database? Right? No, no, no. Here warehouse and database, Karishma. Here warehouse and database is entirely on the cloud. Even database is on the cloud, warehouse is on the cloud. But why do we need warehouse? Why do we need warehouse? Why Snowflake has given warehouse? Not only for the Snowflake, anywhere. Why we need a warehouse? To give computation, server, cluster, to increase your computational capability. It is nothing but your number of cores in your CPU. When you see, when you go to buy a laptop, you say 8 core CPU, 16 core CPU, 64 core CPU. What is this doing exactly? You're increasing the number of core processing speed. You're increasing it. The agility it is giving you. It is giving you the freedom of scalability, which is not there in the database. Right? Don't answer Mohit all this question. Warehouse is like a folder or is a structure. No. Okay. Start answer from this point of view. Computational speed, computational capability gets increased when we have a warehouse. Right? Rather than the database. That's why you see the entire architecture or Snowflake or any cloud environment. First, always we will have a warehouse. Then you'll have a database. Then you'll have a schema. Then you'll have a views. Then you'll have a tables. That's why this architecture we maintain. Okay. So this is the first learning tips for you. What is the difference between data warehouse and database? Prepare your answer very, very carefully. And I've given you the hint also on the snowflake. That's why we have this large, medium, small. Else, what is the point of using this large, medium, small? Why the snowflake just for the sake has given? Yes, one can have one warehouse and many databases. Yes. It's like a, it's like your apartment. It's like your apartment. One apartment can have a various flats. So flats is your database. One flats can be bifurcated into different one BHK, two BHK, three BHK. That is your schema. Inside each room, you will be having different things. You will be having a TV. You will be having a dining table. That is called the table. On dining table, if you are placing something uh, that, uh, that, that will be again a part of uh, the table. First, you will be creating views. Then on the views, if you are keeping, that is called the table. So understand the chronology, understand this complete structure because this, they will be definitely asking you an interview. How is any database or data warehouse has been designed? So you'll say, first we design a warehouse, we increase the computational capability, we add them accordingly so that we can scale it. Right? We can scale it. Then we have the database, then we have the views, then we have the tables. This is the bifurcation. Structure you need to understand very, very properly. Okay. Okay. Huh. So make sure you prepare this. Capability to store big data. A warehouse provides the required resource such as CPU, memory, and temporary storage to perform the following operations in a snowflake session. Yes. That's what I'm telling you. Computational capability. It gives you a CPU, memory, and all the resources which you need for your snowflake query to run. This is a genie ke ye roti kapra makan. So roti kapra makan is a warehouse. Hai. And you are a database that you are getting from there. Okay? So understand this way. Okay. I'll wrap up today's class then. Clear? So this was the question which was asked me today for the interview. I just appeared. Huh. Okay, my video was off. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now, every day I'll ask you one interview question. Let's be, begin this way also. Uh, so that it will give you a practice. Okay. It will give you a practice. Uh, data. What is data warehouse? What is 
uh, all these things so that it will become clear staging i'll tell you as well yeah don't worry i'll talk about staging don't worry staging ke bare mein batayenge abhi bataye nahi hold on for that hold on for that yeah yeah okay thank you okay yes see you tomorrow then we'll start uh, complete case statement we'll discuss tomorrow full case statement we'll discuss tomorrow staging error many of you are getting okay you should not get that i'll i'll resolve that mohit reach out to me you have my number reach out to me okay chalo good night i'll take rest then bye take care see you tomorrow okay yeah good night